Hey guys, it's uh, March 6th in 2019. It is 3.22 p.m. in the afternoon. This is episode 399. Um, today I'm picking on Fox News again because it's so much fun and plus, just like Donald Trump to keep giving me reasons. Um, you remember that story about the National Enquirer Baron, um, a story about uh, Donald Trump and uh, porn stars and playmates and paying them off and the National Enquirer is out and pay them off? Um, and we thought, oh, that's disgusting. We already know you are in journalism, but bad you, bad you. Um, turns out Fox News has the same ethical standards as uh, the National Enquirer. Now, Fox News is denying this. No, 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 no. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. But they did bury the story. They did bury the story. But the, the, the editor, who's no longer there, denied that he said, Good job, kiddo. <laughs> but we can't run it because uh, Rupert wants Trump to win. He denies he ever said that. But there's been more than one source that said, Yeah, he did, and he's a liar. Um, but yeah, that's what Fox News did. They saw the story about Trump, and they didn't run it. Uh, before the election about him uh, and Stormy Daniels and everything. Uh, they didn't run it. They were like, well, you know what? There, there's no teeth to the story. We, don't, we can't confirm if it's true or not. So they didn't, they didn't even look in to see if it was true. They just like, no, no, not going to worry about it. Not a guy to do it. Um, and then there's another story uh, that uh, Roger Ailes, who is no longer with us, and we all miss him very much, um, said Donald Trump, that famous a debate question from Megyn Kelly uh, that she's going to ask about him calling women pigs and dogs and stuff. And where he says, Only Rosie O'Donnell. And for Republicans, man, that was some quick wit. They were like, Oh, mine is so funny. And somehow it was okay to make fun of Rosie O'Donnell. Not not all women, but it's okay to make fun of Rosie O'Donnell. That's Republican logic for you right there. But anyway, they all just went crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. He's all quick with it. He was not quick with it, people. But. It turns out Roger Ailes fed him that question, um, according to like three sources. Two of those sources with uh, Fox, another source with the campaign. But Fox is saying, oh, we didn't do it. And Megyn Kelly says, no, you didn't do it. But how would Megyn Kelly know? Unless she came up with that question off the cuff. If, if Roger Ailes knew about that question, there's a good chance that he told Trump. But Megyn Kelly can't be 100% uh, certain that uh, it was not fed to Trump. And the other thing that was fed to him, another debate question, was about uh, signing the pledge to support another GOP candidate if it wasn't him. So apparently he's prepared for that kind of stuff. It seems like those are the kind of questions that you would not have to be prepared for. <laughs> but for Donald Trump, you do. So, because he's a slow thinker, the, the quickest kid on the block, you know. Um... And da, 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 da. I think there's one more thing. Am I missing one? Might be it. Yeah. Oh, but but you know how Donald Trump, uh, he 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 has people from Fox on the podiums with him at his hate rallies. He talks to Hannity every night. He um, but the New Yorker did the story about this, and this is one. Of, this is my favorite part of the story, was that um, they published the article, and um, the writer wrote. Uh, the White House and Fox interact so seamlessly that it can be hard to determine during a particular news cycle which one is following the other's lead. John, I mean, Tucker Carlson got pissed and he said this thing about, you know, news organizations that seem like a big deal now extinct and they degraded themselves beyond recognition like the New Yorker. That's a publication that ran an article. And then Donald Trump tweeted out his statement <laughs> detecting no irony at all. Republicans do not do irony. Uh... So, yeah, that's where we are. Now I spent like four minutes on that, and we got like five left to talk about shout-outs. Um, but I got this idea right about 2 a.m. I, I had the subject for over a day, and it just wasn't hitting me yet. But then it hit me. Uh, and this was not the direction I wanted it to go in. And you know what? After I did this cartoon, and about around 8 a.m., I thought of another idea that I would rather have done. But I like the way this one worked out. I like the ticker at the bottom. I was actually looking at photos of Fox News tickers. The tickers, people, the tickers. Sometimes the tickers contradict what the people are saying <laughs> about Fox News. But here's the 
here's the thing. If you are watching Fox News, you're not watching news. You see these smart news commercials? I get most of my news from social media. I was only listening to stuff I agree with. But now I got smart news. Smart news helps me find news on both sides. Smart news. Fuck you and your smart news. Um, you don't need smart news. You don't need news from both sides, people. You need news. News. You need news, okay? And I know people say, uh, you need a right-wing news outlet to counter the left-wing news outlet. Well, you're arguing that you need bias to, uh, it, that more bias is a solution to bias, okay? Yeah, I don't buy that. You just need news. And you know what? CNN is news. Washington Post is news. The New York Times is news. Now, we can always yell at about how they do things, and I do, but, um, but they are legitimate news outlets. Now, they're called fake news, which is no real thing. If it's fake, it's not news, people. Um, but they are the best sources in the country. Uh, MSNBC is damn good. And yes, they, at night, with their pundits and everything, they are more left-wing. But their news reporting is damn good. Um, now, the reason people say that they're left-wing is because facts have a left-wing bias. That is just true. Look at the border wall situation. All the facts about that refute the reasons to have a border wall. It's just true. Then you explain that to a conservative, and they're like, but, 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 you hate America. <laughs> and so you respond to things. You know, you, you point out the Green New Deal, they're like cow farts. I mean, so that's how that goes. Anyway, we got to do some cow shout outs. I almost said we have to do some cow farts. Um, we got like three minutes. I'm going to do the names first President Ozo, Emily Christensen, Ariel L., Robert Cotino. Four of my favorite people in the world on the internet. All right, guys. Uh, President Oso like the last cartoon, and he's right. The, uh, he's gonna go see Captain Marvel with me and Emily on Friday. It's gonna be a party. We're gonna get a little bus and some margaritas. Ain't doing none of that, but still, we, we, we can we can talk about it, not do it. Okay. And uh, actually, we're going on Saturday because Emily doesn't want to go on Friday. So, I right, glad glad you like the color on the cartoon, Emily. And Ariel reads the blog, but she likes to watch the videos first for the, for the suspense. Suspense. Uh, and Errol says she gives a lot of attention to what she reads, unlike some people. Oh, anyway, uh, I like the messiness in here. I'm not sure I like this girl's hair at all. Um, and Errol's jealous of uh, Emily's Captain Marvel with tickets for ticket purchase. You know, you don't need a hookup to buy those tickets, right? Um, so anyway, yeah. And after we. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm patient with Captain Marvel. I don't have to go see it immediately. I'm thinking maybe Tuesday. And even for me, that's pretty quick. But um, but even if not then, depends on how busy I am. I may not see it then. I might wait another week. Uh, it, it's not killing me, you know. Uh, Some things kill me, like the new Star Wars kills me, you know. But that that's not gonna kill me. Um. And Robert Martinez pointed out just for the record, cows and herd animals do expel methane. They expel a lot of freaking methane. They really, 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 really do. I was going to read your whole comment, but uh, the, um, it's a really good comment, too. You guys should go read Robert Cortino's comment with the last video. Uh, but I'm running out of time. Good Lord. That's a, that's a long comment. Uh, we are about done here, folks. I mean, Robert Cortino thought he was Ariel for a minute. All right. Uh, why can't you guys be more like President Oso? <laughs> All right. Nobody can be President Oso. There's only one President Oso. Here's your cartoon, folks. I like the, the way that it turned out with the ticker. It's just a ticker. It doesn't pull me. I changed the idea about the time to go off the screen at the end. Um, please leave a comment. You'll get your very own shout out on the YouTube machine from me, a, a semi-known cartoonist. And uh, and click that red button and subscribe. Semi-known? I'm not sure. Little? Little? I don't know. Anyway, click the red button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!